because this is where it started. This is where night parrots were found in 2013 by John Young. I was a young fella growing up reading bird books and I'd always look at the page with the night parrot and, and you know, just imagine that thing's out there somewhere and you know, you'd never dream of seeing it. And if you'd told me, even, you know, even like, you know, 10 years ago, like just after it was first discovered that, you know, you'd get to play an important role in its conservation, building our knowledge of the species, I wouldn't have believed you. So it's become a really important part of my life. And for that reason, Pawn Pawn's important to me personally. We knew nothing about the species that had been missing for you know more than a century. We knew nothing about it. And we were presented with an opportunity to potentially save a species. So, you know, catching and tagging a bird, working out that it was traveling, you know, tens of kilometers at night, covering thousands of hectares and working out the different habitats that it was using, that enabled us to build, you know, the first ever conceptual model for how how night parrots use the landscape, which is really important because you need to understand that to know, you know, to know where, to, where else to look for them. Following on from that, you know, the, I was able to do some work around like acoustics and, and sort of studying the calling behavior of the birds and working out how to find them. Once you knew where in the landscape to look for something, and you knew how to look for something, then we could expand beyond pull and pull and we could start looking for the species really, you know, make a real concerted effort to look for the species elsewhere. And it was that, that information that, you know, that was born here on pull and pull and that we're able to take to, you know, like indigenous ranges in Western Australia and to other places in Western Australia and look for the birds there, look for the birds elsewhere in Queensland. And that's resulted in, we've gone from, you know, not knowing where any populations were, you know, not much more than 10 years ago. And now we're up to something like, you know, 12, 13 populations. And, and all, those, all those birds have been found because of what started here on Pool and Pool. And this is the place where it all started, which is what makes it so important. We know what threatens it, and we know that we need to mitigate those threats. And at the moment, we can't. We don't have the funding. You know, we just don't have the impetus, I suppose, to really manage those threats at the scale required. Because remember, it's it's one thing to manage those threats here on a 50,000 hectare reserve on Pool and Pool and protect, you know, the handful of night parrots that live here. It's another thing to do it at the scale that we need to properly recover the species. And at the moment, that's not funded. We're not doing it, but and that's and we need to if we really want to save the night parrot.